Okay world, gotta do the starter again. So here's the starter hole. I wonder if I can see in the hole. That's cool to be able to use the camera to be able to see in the hole. Okay. Uh, I got a bunch of oil all over everybody. So there's the new starter. Gotta put it in. Okay, so I was a little mistaken on the last video on uh, when I I think I put the tools required. Um, what's required is for a 1999 Dodge Ram Cummins Turbo Diesel. Uh, 3 8 ratchet, regular ratchet, um, a small 3 three inch extension, and a what I believe to be a 6 inch extension. So these and 10 millimeter 12 point socket and it must be 12 point. Absolutely must be because that's what the head's got all those little noogies on it. So okay. So it's got to be a 12 point socket. You can't use a 6 point. Definitely won't work. Um, okay. The electrical connection is a 17. I put in my last video was a 15. I use a socket um, and electrical you use a, I use a socket 3 inch and a 3 8 drive ratchet and uh, the, the 3 inch part of the the ratchet extension part doesn't go all the way in just goes like halfway in that's fine you can still get it plenty tight um, and then as you tight uh, anyways and you need a 10 millimeter 12 point um box wrench you need that in preferably a long one so you can get some leverage you got lots of room it's for the bottom bolt um and this is for the electrical i use a little quarter inch drive with a uh i think it's five sixteenths i think that's what that is yeah that's five sixteenths as far as i can see i think yeah so a little six point socket on that one quarter inch drive ratchet works perfect for the little starter solenoid wire okay and the top bolt what you're going to do is you put uh for the top bolt you put it together like this okay that's for the top bolt you go on the top of the starter or the back bolt whichever way you want to call it and then the middle bolt I use just uh, I believe just yeah three inch on the middle bolt you use just a three inch drive ratchet like that for the middle bolt and then the bottom bolt you use the 10 millimeter wrench or you can also get a socket on it uh, to break it loose but it's much easier with the wrench if you can get a long one it's much easier with the wrench um, so that's that um, and I think it took me about an hour this is my second time doing it I did the last one two and a half years ago you can look back on my video two and a half years ago um, took me like two hours last time, although I wasn't trying to go fast. This time I think I did it all in about an hour. Um, had it out probably in 15 minutes. <clears throat> then the inside, getting the part and all that kind of stuff. And so, so it's it's only three bolts and two wires, so it's it's really basic. Um, I'm six foot, 250 pounds. If you're any bigger than me, you ain't gonna fit under the truck. You're gonna need to jack the truck up. Uh, I'm pretty much as big as you can be uh, going under this truck, regular height. Uh, 1999 Dodge Ram Cummins Turbo Diesel, uh, two-wheel drive. And uh, this is a lifesaver. 
They do fog up if you can get some non fag You definitely want safety glasses because uh, stuff's going to be falling in your eyes. Crapola is going to be going in your eyes. So you're going to be working at like a six inch distance, you know? So um, I don't, I normally wear glasses for distance, but uh, close up I don't. So I use this safety glasses were awesome. It keeps the uh, oil and junk stuff. You need a lot of rags too. Uh, I probably used about six rags. Um, I used a couple of rugs on the ground to lay on underneath the truck. And that's it. Uh, starts a lot better, that's for sure, a lot faster. The old starter was starter was dragging after two and a half years. Uh, from a rebuild from uh, original starter, lasted from 1999 till two and a half years ago. This is 2020. So it lasted like 17 and a half years, you know, maybe 17 years. Uh, the original starter, factory starter, uh, it lasted about a hundred and I think about 150,000 miles. And in the last couple years, uh, so this, the rebuild only lasted two and a half years, but I got it warranted out of O'Reilly Auto Parts. The guys were awesome. A little shout out to the guys at O'Reilly. Thanks guys for being awesome and checking my truck and checking the, uh, see if the starter was bad. They diagnosed it free. They put their battery tester on it, checks the alternator diodes, everything on the truck. You know, you just go to start it right there and their thing tells you if your starter's bad or not. So it's really cool. Free service at O'Reilly Auto Parts. All right, shout out to O'Reilly Auto Parts. Parts crap, it only lasted for two and a half years, but these days, that's kind of not their fault. I mean, uh, this one was made in Malaysia. We'll see if it lasts any longer. All right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I didn't get much any video on this. I'm in the middle of a parking lot right now. So, uh, but anyways, so, and I just uh, <laughs> had to get her, get her done. So, okay, all right, thanks guys for watching. Uh, everybody, thank you world. Uh, all right, click like and subscribe. Take care, bye. Okay, you're also gonna have to reset your clock radio because you're gonna have to you disconnect the two negative batteries terminals on your batteries on your diesel uh, so you don't get any sparks down below when you take off the big heavy starter cable because the big heavy cable going to that starter has got power to it all, at all times. Um, I don't even think there's a circuit, a fuse or anything in between that cable. Uh, so, um, okay. So yeah, I gotta reset the clock. Okay, I also wanted to add that uh, make sure you wear uh, old, your oldest clothing that has holes in it and the shirt that you wear, make sure it's gonna be junk because it, it will get coated when you crawl under your diesel truck to do that starter because it just gets gnarly when you're on the ground and I even had laid down a blanket and uh, still got wasted. So the shorts got pretty trashed. They're both going in the trash. They're pretty bad. The grease probably ain't gonna come out. So just wanted to add that. that uh, wear some junk clothing.